Resistors and the voltage delivered by the battery determines the current. We use Ohm's law, I is equal to V over R. Circuits can be redrawn as if there were only a single resistor and a battery. By reducing the circuit this way, we can study it better. The process of reducing the resistors in a circuit to one resistor is called finding the equivalent resistance. Let's just look at Ohm's law here. We want to find the current coming out of the battery. There's only one voltage that's given by the battery. But there's two resistors, so what do we do? We'd love to call replace these with just one resistor called R equivalent, so the current out of the battery will be the voltage over this virtual resistor that replaces the two real ones. So here we have our two resistors and we know we have current coming out of the positive end of the terminal. What happens to the current in the circuit? We're looking for the magnitude of the current as it goes through these resistors. Remember current is defined as the amount of charge passing a given area per unit time here. So if I have 10 charges coming out of here in a second and they come up here, all 10 go through here in the same amount of time. All 10 are going to go through here and they just keep pushing around in a loop like this. Okay, so the current coming out of here is exactly the same as the current going through this resistor and the exact through here. If perhaps there's 10 amps coming out of here, 10 amps go through here and you make the claim that only 8 amps go through here, what happened to all those other charges? Did they get stuck here? Did they leave? No, that's silly. Whatever goes through this resistor has to go through this resistor. So the current coming out of the battery, which we label I, equals I1, which is the current through resistor 1, and it equals I2, which is the current through resistor 2. What happens to the voltage V, which is the energy given to each charge, as it moves around the circuit? This one's a little trickier, so let's recall what voltage is, electric potential. It's the potential energy per charge. So each charge that leaves here flowing in a current has a certain amount of energy. What a resistor does, it takes that energy of that charge and some of the energy from the charge is transferred into heat in the resistor. It heats it up. It loses energy because the electrons here that are flowing up, oh, electrons aren't going this way. Conventional current goes this way. Electrons go this way. They're hitting the material of the resistor. They're bouncing off the atoms, the molecules, other electrons, and they're losing energy. That energy goes into the resistor, which gives it off as thermal energy. So we're losing energy. So if we lose energy, what happens to the voltage? We lose voltage. So if I come in with maybe 10 volts here, I have a 10 volt battery, after the electrons slog their way through the resistor, maybe they only have 5 volts of energy left. Again, it's not energy, it's energy per charge. Then it goes through another resistor. It loses another 5 volts, perhaps. Well, that would be the case if both resistors were the same. So at the end, your charges, your positive charges coming around this way, have no more energy. They're just getting pushed by the uh, charges behind them. So what we have due to conservation of energy is the total voltage that was delivered by the battery, the amount of energy, some of it got used up here, used up is a bad word, some of it got transferred to other forms of energy, and some got transferred to other forms of energy here. So the total voltage delivered by the battery equals V1 plus V2, commonly called the voltage drop across R1 and the voltage drop across R2. Let's put these concepts together to find out the equivalent resistance of the circuit, where we're going to replace multiple resistors with just one, and that one virtual resistor acts as the physical resistors. We start with the previous slide. The voltage delivered by the battery is equal to the voltage dropped across each individual resistor or circuit element. We now substitute in Ohm's law, V equals IR. 
So V out of the battery is the current of the battery times this R over here. This is going to be the resistance of the circuit. And actually soon we're going to find that's the equivalent resistance. I1, R1, I2, R2, I3, R3. But the current is the same everywhere in a series circuit. So I equals I1 equals I2 equals I3. In this case, we're working with three resistors, not the two that we had on the previous slides. We make the substitution for these various I1, I2, I3. Now, what do you see here? I is in each term, cancels out. We now have the equivalent resistance of a series circuit is just adding up the individual resistors. What happens if you were to add more resistors to a series circuit? What would happen to the resistance? Well, any number I add here on the right side is clearly going to make the equivalent resistance greater.